go big little legs. Skinny kid with plenty. Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Zite, aka Lil Red. We got Victor whipping Yama highlights versus the Blazers, man. Let's get it. I was gonna react to the Spurs full game. Should I? Nah. I don't feel like it. I'm sorry, guys. I don't feel like reacting to the Blazers. If you guys beat the Blazers, there you go. Whippy with the block. Oh, stolen right back. It's okay. It's still theirs. Back in San Antonio. Simon's trailer. Oh, my. Bro, his block's been getting nastier. Simon's weaving his way to the hoop. Bro, he grabbed it out of the air. Oh, and threw it on the ground. Bro, that's crazy. I'm not going to lie. That's a crazy block. I have never seen something like that in my life. I don't. You don't really. Oh, my God. Trey in the corner. Bucket. Bro, that's crazy. Bro, that is crazy. He's trailing. Lob it up. Oh, man. Trey Jones just makes him just look so much better, bro. The only dude that can know how to get him the ball consistently. Hey. I like how Wimby's playing with some more emotion recently. I like it, bro. Simons. Oh, Osman. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell, bro? This is crazy, bro. <laughs> he barely jumped. That's crazy, bro. And he said they pushed me. Give it to him. Uh oh. Has he? Ooh, sidestep. What in the hell, bro? This is just insane to watch. Every single time I watch him, bro. Wimby. And down. Man, down. Let Aiden know. Aiden, where you pointed to, buddy? This is you. What is this defense? Do you think that's going to affect him? That's Wimby. Come on, bro. Wemby, tuck your trash to him, too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Turn around. Uh, give him a little shimmy. I saw that. He's open. Entry. Foul. Damn, one. <laughs> they can't do anything. Bro, you really can't do anything. He just takes it and Dybul tries to block it and smacks him in the head because he's not tall enough. <laughs> Flagrant, ref. Flagrant, aye. Damn. Got the steal. Good pass. Ooh, okay, Trey. Whoa. Get back to him. Whippy three, yes, sir. Woohoo! Move the ball around the horn after an offensive rebound. The test is late and probably would have been successful anyways. Hey, man, shout out, Wimby. We're going to react to his uh, post game, but first, let me uh, mute myself in my Discord. <laughs> All right, man. Let's get uh, Wemby's post game interview. I know that I saw it when I searched his name. I know I saw it. Yeah, here it is. Uh, right here. 
Wemby well, post game interview. This is what we Pretty like cool to see. Cool to see everyone hitting the boards tonight. And, you know the energy that Kelvin brought, Jeremy brought. Of course, yeah. It felt like everything was falling in, in their hands. You know, it's uh, it's great to see those you know those progress being made. Were you excited for Jeremy tonight? You know, he started the season. He had some rough moments, and for him to have a game like this. Of course. I heard Jeremy saying yes, it went crazy. You know, Somebody let energy, me know what he did. You know, remind me of that game he had against the Hawks, the first one. And um, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, he when he's playing like that, he's just a, a great, you know, great player and on every aspect of the game. So it's, it's, uh, it makes me happy to see that happen. How do you rate his two-handed dunk coast to coast? Um, <laughs> that was nice. That wasn't expected. I don't know. That was a, that was a good one. <laughs> so how you know what I rate it? <laughs> I've said that um, he'll, he'll know more tomorrow morning as to whether he'll play. Uh, tomorrow night. Uh, I'm, I'm just wondering how much input yeah. you're gonna try to have it on that. On that <laughs> I mean, I'm confident I'm gonna play it. Okay. Except if there's a problem, which is not gonna be, I'm probably gonna play. Let's go. We'll take Talk to him, Wimby. Oui, quand on est obligé de s'habituer, bonsoir Victor, à perdre régulièrement. Comment est-ce que on appréhende une victoire? Qu'est-ce que ça génère comme sentiment? Um. C'était, enfin comment dire, <rire> en tout cas on ne s'est pas habitué à perdre, mais, mais euh, chaque match c'est vraiment un combat, il n'y en a aucun qui est laissé au hasard et ça fait plaisir de, de voir le fruit de nos efforts un peu, au moins sur une soirée. Et c'est pour ça qu'il faut en profiter, il faut, faut au contraire s'habituer à, à ce sentiment de victoire. Et euh, même si on a déjà un match dans moins d'un jour, il euh, faut profiter. Et, um, et profiter intensément et dès, dès le lendemain matin, c'est déjà focus sur le, le prochain match. Ben, ton deuxième compte sur Anthony Simmons quand il drive, euh, beaucoup de joueurs seraient arrivés derrière et auraient sans doute envoyé le ballon en dehors du terrain. On a déjà un petit peu parlé du fait que tu gardais la possession. Est-ce que je peux nous raconter comment ça se passe en fait dans ces moments-là pour euh, ramener ton poignet, ramener le ballon euh, je, Alors je voulais, je, dès que possible, je pense pas tout le temps, mais dès que possible, j'essaie de, de garder la possession. Et là, j'essayais de le faire, mais j'allais trop vite, je pense que je serais tombé en dehors du terrain. Donc, euh, je l'ai remise, je sais la remettre dans mes coéquipiers. Euh, mais ouais, c'est. Même s'il y a de l'instinct, c'est quand même quelque chose que je travaille. Bonsoir, Victor. On a un peu passé la mi-saison. Est-ce que tu peux nous faire un bilan de, de ta mi-saison et de, de celle de ton équipe Qu'est-ce que tu en penses euh, Je trouve qu'on a vraiment. On, ce qui est bien, c'est qu'on a ciblé certaines euh, marges de, de progression et qu'on est, on est sur la bonne voie. Et euh, on voit vraiment un peu plus de maturité, je trouve, par rapport au début de saison. Et, euh, et, beaucoup de, et, on, et on se trouve mieux aussi, collectivement. Donc, euh, donc le jeu est de meilleure qualité. Et euh, ça, se voit sur, ça se voit aussi statistiquement, pas seulement sur le bilan victoire-défaite, mais aussi sur euh, les statistiques avancées. Et, euh, et euh, personnellement aussi, je suis... Ouais, c est, c est, ça reflète un peu ce que, comment l'état de, de l'équipe en fait. Je trouve que euh, on a bien réussi à cibler mes, mes zones euh, où j'étais en difficulté, celles où j'étais plus à l'aise, et, et voilà, et à améliorer la qualité de, de tout quoi, épurer le jeu. Un petit mot sur Ryan Rupert qui est de Somebody better let me know what he's saying, bro. relation avec lui Je discutais avec Jimmy Verhoff qui me disait que c'était un, un gros travailleur aussi. Je crois qu'il a pris 5000 shoots à peu près toutes les semaines. Qu'est-ce que tu en connais de Ryan Rupert euh, Ça fait longtemps que je le connais parce que nos deux grandes sœurs étaient en équipe de France ensemble en 2017. Donc ça fait, ça fait un moment. Nos familles se connaissent aussi. Et euh, c'est sûr que je. C'est sûr que c'est un gros travailleur, c'est une chose que je sais à propos de lui. Et, euh, et, mais ouais, et en tout cas, au-delà du fait que ce soit un Français, ça me fait très plaisir de, voir, de le voir à ce niveau-là. Thank you, V. Merci. Hey, man, uh, you know, I did get a comment. They said uh, some of my French viewers want me to uh, play that through, so that was for you guys. People think he doesn't like his teammates or so wrong. They're all young kids working together. Big fella loves winning, scrappy game, but we're now 2-1-1 versus Portland. He played 30 plus minutes a night and gets more touches. He would break so many records. Uh, I didn't realize there's so much French press in San Antonio. Thanks for the French part. All this crying for him being wasted in San Antonio ain't nothing better than a bunch of young bucks fighting for a bone. Spurs are coming. Spurs.
Spurs fans, how you guys feeling down below in the comments?